Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCV. In this video, we are going to learn 3 digit number subtraction without regrouping in class 2. We know that subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. This is the third topic that we are going to learn in class 2 under subtraction. What are the first two topics that we saw? Subtraction concept, properties and keywords. The next topic that we saw was subtracting two digit numbers with regrouping of tens and checking the answer using addition. I have dealt with these two topics in separate videos. The links to those videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Now in this video, we are going to learn subtracting three digit numbers without regrouping. Let us go into the details of this video now. Subtract 125 from 648. So here we are going to subtract a 3 digit number from another 3 digit number. So we can write down the numbers one below the other and write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. I always insist on writing the place values because it will be ideal for the children to write down the numbers in their correct places. Let us begin the subtraction from the ones place now. 8 minus 5. 8 in the mind, 5 in the fingers. Before 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Next, move on to the tens place. 4 minus 2. 4 in the mind, 2 in the fingers. Before 4, 3, 2. Next, in the hundreds place, we have 6 minus 1. From the properties of subtraction, we know that when we subtract a number by 1, you get the before number. So 6 minus 1 will give you 5, which is the before number of 6. So the answer for subtract 125 from 648 is 523. Dear viewers, I have dealt with the properties of subtraction in a separate video. Link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us do the next sum. Subtract 302 from 989. So here again we have two three digit numbers. So you can directly write them one below the other and write down their place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place we have 9 minus 2. 9 in the mind, 2 in the fingers. Before 9, 8, 7. Next move on to the tens place where you have 8 minus 0. This is once again the property of subtraction or you can even say it as property of 0. When you subtract 0 from a number, you get the same number. So 8 minus 0 will give you 8. Next move on to the hundreds place where you have 9 minus 3. 9 in the mind, 3 in the fingers. Before 9, 8, 7, 6. So the subtraction or the difference between the two three digit numbers is 687. Hope you are able to understand so far. Let us do the next sum. Subtract 40 from 745. So here we are going to subtract a two digit number from a three digit number. In such cases, write down the bigger number from which you are going to subtract. Then write down their place values so that when you have to write down the smaller number, you will be able to write it in its appropriate places. So 40 has to be written in the ones and tens place. Now put the subtraction sign and begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place we have 5 minus 0 which is 5. In tens place we have 4 minus 4. This is once again the property of subtraction. When a number is subtracted from itself, you get the answer to be 0. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Next move on to the hundreds place where you don't have any digit to subtract from 7. So you can just take and write down the number 7 in the hundreds place. So when you subtract 40 from 745, you get the answer to be 705. Let us do another sum. Subtract 8 from 868. 
So here we are going to subtract a single digit number from a three digit number. So first write down the bigger number and its place value ones, tens and hundreds. Next we will have to write down the smaller number eight. Now as we have put the place values, we know that eight has to be put in the ones place. Suppose we do not write the place values, there might be a confusion for the children to put the eight in the tens place or in the hundreds place which might become wrong. So, an ideal practice to put down the place values will help the children to put down the smaller numbers in its appropriate places. Now, put the subtraction sign and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 8 is 0. In tens and hundreds place, you can just take and write down the number just like that. So, the subtraction of 8 from 868 will give you the answer 860. Let us do the next sum. Subtract 851 from 872. So here these are two three digit numbers. So we can directly write them one below the other and write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. Two minus one in the ones place will give you one. In tens place we have seven minus five. Seven in the mind, five in the fingers. Before seven, six, five, four, three, two. Next, move on to the hundreds place where you have 8 minus 8 which will give you 0. You can either write the answer as 0, 2, 1 or it is correct to write it as 21. Next, let us do the sum subtract 555 from 666. So, write down the numbers one below the other. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 6 minus 5 in ones place is 1. And 6 minus 5 in the tens place is again 1. And in the hundreds place also 6 minus 5 will give you 1. So the subtraction of these two three digit numbers will give you the answer 111. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 2 under the subtraction topic for the children. Of which the first topic subtraction concept properties and keywords has been covered in a separate video Subtracting two digit numbers with regrouping of tens and checking the answer using addition has been covered in separate videos. Now in this video, we saw subtracting three digit numbers without regrouping. In my upcoming videos, we will be seeing subtracting three digit numbers with regrouping of tens, then subtracting three digit numbers with regrouping of the hundreds and tens place. Then we will look at the story sums and do mental math and subtraction worksheet. I'll be dealing with each of these topics in separate videos. Links to all the related topics will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy navigation. You may also click on the in-screen video which will take you to the playlist containing all the videos for subtraction in class 2. Thank you for watching my video. See you again in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.